ghetto booty. <laughs> So it is a week later from last Friday where I got to go, oh my god, have one of the best days of my entire life. I am not even kidding. It was that big a deal. So I went to the Fifth Avenue Cinema in Portland where they were... Sorry, there are people playing Pokemon Go right outside my fucking window. It's literally 1.36 in the morning, too. What the hell are they doing? Sorry. All right. <laughs> but yeah, I got to go to the Fifth Avenue Cinema in Portland. They are actually screening Beats, Rhymes, and Life, The Travels of Tribe Called Quest. I, oh my god, it was insane. And not only that, were they playing it on the big screen in a theater in Portland, it was in 35 millimeter film. Like they were actually, it was a real film print. I mean, as a film person, like that shit gets me so excited. Seeing those scratches on the screen and just knowing they're authentic, like that shit is like, that's like cake to me, if you like cake, you know? I literally, and that was a huge deal because it was actually the first time I had watched the movie since Fife's passing. And, um, cause it was just, you know, it's just too hard. Cause it's the, they really get into, you know, certain things in the movie. So you really, it's hard to, to watch. Like, I have it on Blu-ray right here. I cried throughout the whole movie. I was kind of sitting in my seat like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the people behind me thought I was doing something else. <laughs> A Tribe Called Quest is like the most important music act of all time to me, right behind the Beatles. Um, it's just like their music just, it's so fucking personal with me. Like it's such a big deal. Oh God, I can't even explain it. Like I've, I've literally thought many times about trying to make a video just talking about why I love A Tribe Called Quest, but I just, I can't because there's so many things. The whole video would be this. It's just, <laughs> I love them! Also, I tweeted a picture of myself in front of the theater to Michael Rappaport, the director, and he actually liked and retweeted it. Like, that's fucking dope. Like, tweeter means jack shit to some people. And I filmed a little bit of it, so I thought I would just get, like, the experience of me going. Um, so I'll show you some of those clips. So yeah, without any further ado, please check out the clips of me in downtown Portland checking out Beats, Rhymes, and Life in theaters. shown but there's beats rhymes in life 420 the theater is down there but it's not open yet so i'm just gonna be kind of walking around Ooh, look, I'm so excited what the fuck is that oh that is a rotten ass pussy i'm gonna rotten her ass pussy gross they have some rotten ass pussies in portland rotten pussy portland hey look at that one god damn there's mcdonald's yo mackie daniels all right i'm gonna go get a water and I don't know exactly what time it is, it's like almost 4.30 or something, so I'm gonna be out here for a fucking while. Um, I, I really didn't think I was gonna be able to find the theater, that's why I showed up so early. And uh, I actually did get lost for a second, but uh, I made it here and I'm here and I'm waiting. And you know what, I don't give a fuck. I could sit out here all day just staring at this marquee and the fucking poster over here, man. God, now playing. And it's gonna be playing in 35 millimeter. It's like, it's, it's a legit fucking like theatrical experience. And they're doing this. I think I missed this already. No, no, it's September. Fucking Legend of Zelda, Symphony of the Gods. But that shit is expensive. Tickets are out of this fucking world. Mm. Oh shit! Bugging out, bugging out, bugging out, you bugging out! Oh god. Oh god. I didn't even see that there. It's funny because like I live in this area. I live in fucking Portland. But I don't come to any of these like Portland areas. Like I don't come downtown very often. And I don't know man, but it's pretty sick. Yeah, I'm gonna wait out here for a while because people are staring at me and I need to turn this camera off, so. <laughs> I had to do this, I would regret it if I didn't. Linden Boulevard represent, represent, send. So like 90 something degrees today, but I had to get a shot of this, um, of just the full view of the theater. Oh, I can't wait. I need to stop filming shit. Like I'm gonna have no footage to, uh, to review. I don't even need to review this. I have this on Blu-ray at home. I've watched this movie all the fucking time. Here's my review. It's an amazing fucking movie and it's beautiful. I love it. Fuck you. Dub spot. <laughs> I'm just walking around and exploring since the movie isn't gonna be happening for like, I don't know, three, two and a half hours. This is my last video before I go in, but uh, it's like five something. It's almost 5.30 about now. Um, I had to go back into McDonald's to go take a piss, but there was a dude in there you may have heard briefly. Um, he was arguing about 
on the phone with his friend or something about if, whether or not Cindy Lauper was the shit. I mean, I'm not even fucking kidding. It was amazing. Um, and then he was like screaming his ass off about all these other artists and like, fuck this, fucking no, you don't know nothing. Cindy Lauper had some good ass fucking songs. And then uh, the chick from that worked there came up and she's like, yeah, I'm sorry, if you're gonna keep yelling, I'm gonna have to kick you out. And I don't wanna do that. And it was fucked up, but it was funny, so yeah. <laughs> I swear this is the last video before I go inside. I need to stop filming, so uh, yeah. Quick heads up, they kicked his ass out of McDonald's. He's, he's out there on the street screaming right now at everyone, so peace. Okay, so I just got out. Oh my fucking god, again. Like, I cannot fucking watch that movie without falling like a little bitch. But yeah, there are two more showings tonight, and Three tomorrow and three on Sunday. McDonald's. Jesus. They're doing movies in the park right now. They're playing Willy Wonka. It's pretty dope. I am finally almost in my neighborhood. Uh, it's been like, Jesus, I don't know, maybe around an hour and a half since I was last filming. Uh, and I got through everything, got on the right track, and I'm good. I'm good. I, I had a fucking great night. I mean, <clears throat> that dude in McDonald's, <laughs> um, I don't, I couldn't tell if that was a different dude once I got outside, because, or once he got outside, um, because motherfucker started screaming some racist shit out at the top of his lungs, like, he was like, fucking black and white people, oh, don't mix. Um, what, what was I saying? Saw some prostitutes outside the Hilton, uh, of course, saw Beats, Rhymes, and Lies, Jesus Christ, I am sweating. I'm getting the pleasure to see one of your favorite movies of all time on the big screen, if they ever release, like, one of your favorite movies back in theaters, in any way, you always have to go. Just do it. You'll regret it if you don't. They re-released Friday, uh, like maybe a year or two years ago, uh, back in theaters for the 20th anniversary. So it was last year, so it was the 20th anniversary. And um, I was planning on going, and then I got like, I don't know if I got sick or I was just like having a really shitty week, but I skipped out on it, and fuck, I wish I had gone. But this, oh my God, I mean, Michael Rappaport, Thank you so fucking much for making this movie. I'm walking past the hospital, and they're gonna come out and get me if they see me talking to this camera. Put a straight jacket on me, like, this dude's fucking nuts. I don't know, it's 2016. Everybody talks to a fucking camera more than they talk to people. All right, I'm gonna go. I had a great night. That's how we're gonna wrap this up. So, peace. Peace. Uh, <laughs> peace. Yeah, they're definitely coming to get me now. So, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and sharing this this experience with me like it was really a big deal if you're a tribe fan like tribe being a tribe fan is so personal if you are a tribe fan you know what this is like yeah that's about it thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna go peace